in this tutorial we are going to talk about simple harmonic motion okay so we want to talk about the position the velocity and the acceleration as a function of time so we want to get the relationship which is there between the simple harmonic motion and the circular motion okay now uh, if we talk about circular motion we're talking about an object moving around the circle okay so let's get to have our circle let's say this is our circle okay now we want to find the the equations which which they are going to help us to find the displacement or the position okay under simple harmonic motion the position the velocity and the acceleration as a function of time if i've been given a time or if i've been given the time how do we come up with uh, the the position how do we come up with the uh, the velocity how do we come up with the acceleration okay so now if you have got uh, a circle an object is moving around the circle we know that we can have um, I want us to have the XY plane and then what we need to understand from here is that we are going to have uh, the radius from this point here all the way to this point that would be my radius then we have we need to have this then we have this so now I want us to have the theta we are going to have the angle which is going to be formed here and then we know that since this is going this is not the maximum position is going to be our x so the radius when we talk of the radius under simple harmonic motion we're in under simple harmonic motion is the amplitude so I'm going to put the amplitude here we know that the when the x reaches at the maximum position that will be our amplitude so this part here I've put x because it is it has not reached to the it has not touched the circle here okay so meaning it is not at its maximum position now what I want us to do there is we need to come up with X X is going to be the displacement okay as a function of time so now we can use Sokatoa Sokatoa to come up with what the trig function which is going to help us to find the displacement okay so from here we know that for us to find x we can use what we can use cos we know that cos theta is going to be equal to okay it's the adjacent the adjacent is x divided by what the hypotenuse which is a so to solve for x is going to be x is going to be equal to a cos theta now when something is moving around the circle we're talking about the displacement or the position as a function of time okay when an object is moving around the circle then this formula is correct okay we can say that d uh, velocity is equal to the dis distance over time but now when we come to circular motion we know that when we're talking about when we're talking about the the velocity meaning we're talking about what the angular what the angular velocity the displace this displacement is the same as we're talking about the uh, the uh, angular displacement then the time we are still talking about the same time the same time we are talking about okay time doesn't change now from there what we need to understand is that from this formula which we have just come up with I want us to make theta as a subject of formula so to make theta as a subject of formula we are going to see that theta is going to be equal to the W times T so I want us to plug in this value where there is theta so we're going to find that the x as a function of time is going to be given by this then where there is theta I put this so this happened to be our formula for finding the displacement as a function of time but at the same time we know that we know that uh, we are saying that our formula is uh, let me first put, let me first create space here we are saying that the displacement as a function of time or the position is the same thing is given by a then we have cos wt but at the same time we know that this angle w is just basically the angular frequency and remember that the angular frequency is given by 2 by f I can replace this with what I have so I can say that this as a function of time I'm going to have the amplitude cos um, then here I'm going to put where there is the uh, uh, angular frequency I'm going to put uh, this then times time okay so we can say that these two 
happen to be our formulas which is going to, which they're going to help us to find what the uh, the the position as a function of time now to get the velocity as a function of time we need just to get the derivative of this function okay as long as we get the derivative of that function then we are going to get the what the the fun the formula which is going to help us to find uh, the velocity now we know that when we are, when we are uh, differentiating the trig if i want to differentiate what is the derivative of cos cos theta the derivative of cos theta is just basically negative sine theta okay the derivative of sine theta is cos theta now what i want us to understand is that if we have been given a function which is a uh, uh cos maybe 2 theta the derivative of this one is just basically you just get the constant which have been given where there's theta so it's going to be negative 2 sine then you keep what is inside constant okay now we are going to differentiate this function as a uh, as a function of time but we are going to be keeping time as constant and then we are going to be differentiating what we are going to be treating sorry we are going to be treating the angular frequency as constant okay so now what we are going to be doing there is uh, i want us to 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 work with uh, this one i want us to work with um this formula it's the one which we are going to be using so we differentiate this one we are going to get the velocity as a function of time okay so to differentiate this one we are going to keep these we are going to treat them as what we are going to treat this one as a constant so we are going to say that we are going to only deal with this one so we are supposed to say it's going to be negative a sine then here i'm going to say w over t times t then i need to do to to, to shift this guy to come outside again so i'm going to have this so this is going to be the same as v as a function of time is going to be equal to negative angular times a sine this but at the same time you can replace this part here inside where there's w with 2 by f which is going to give you v then we are going to have this we are going to have 2 by f times t which is going to be another formula so we have got this formula for velocity and this formula okay now we can also come up with another formula for acceleration the moment i differentiate the formula for velocity is going to give me the acceleration okay now from there what i want us to understand is that it's going to give us we are saying that the formula for velocity as a function of time is just basically negative w a sine this so we're going to get this one if we differentiate it we are going to get the formula for acceleration as a function of time so i'm going to have this so the derivative of uh, sine is just basically cos and then i'm going to put what is here but remember we are supposed to do times what is out this this part here so i'm going to put w so this w and this w is going to give us w squared or alpha um, omega squared so i'm going to have this it's going to give me this then i have this so at the same time i know that this is just basically this I can replace this with that one so I'm going to have this then I'm going to have a cos 2 pi f times t so this is also the formula so you can either use this or you can use this they are all going to give us the same answers now from there there are also some other formulas which you need to be familiar with sometimes if you're going to be given uh, more like a theta okay meaning you are supposed to use the one for displacement is going to be we are going to be given what we call this okay so if you have been given this symbol here you have been given the value of that one meaning the formula changes the formula which you are supposed to use is going to come as it's going to be like this then plus that one okay so now sometimes they can give you they, they are going to be giving you the value of this they can give you pi over three yeah so you just plug in the values but in most cases you are going to be using just direct the way it is so these are the formulas which are going they're going to be helping us to find the uh the, the position the velocity and the acceleration as a function of time okay